Anyway, we have to quickly snap back to reality here as we go into this next set. It's going to be HO3K John Numbers versus Jen. Uh, man, this is... I, I genuinely don't know how this is going to shake out. I feel like there are times where John just absolutely brutalizes Jen, and I feel like there are times where Jen just plays in a way that numbers can't do anything, and I never know what it's going to be until the set really starts revving. Mm -hmm. Well, already John is looking to do some brutalizing of his own, getting Jen already to 103, 115 now. All right, that was a great down tilt. <laughs> I just, I need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Tired. Oh, okay. An important part of staying fit is your rest. That neutral was so smart because one thing that John does have in this matchup is Wii Fit's crouch. The fact that Wii Fit crouches under, I think, dash attack, dash grab, so many of Palutena's options. So one of the only things he can do is like a run in for like a deep rising there. We'll be able to hit Wii Fit Trainer. Uh, but even that's kind of a commitment, and John will definitely start anticipating that uh, later on as this set goes. Okay, Ooh, that actually punished the explosive flame. Great, uh, great awareness. Oh, Oof. oh, he's not dead. Interesting. Just barely Neat. caught John's head as he was you know, trying to catch his breath. All right, looking for the same situation with down tilt back air. Good DI from it that time around, and. John out 139%, and once again right there, I think we actually saw the Palutena grab just completely whiff. Yep, absolutely. Oh, all right, that's going to be a punish. Dash back on shield. Oh, and deep breathing is now alive. He's at death percent, honestly. Ooh, yep. <laughs> just crash <laughs> crashing behind the <laughs> soccer ball, too. And that gets... It, just crouching in place is in and of itself a bait. It is. Because it's there's only a few answers. Neat. Okay. Yeah, okay. I guess that one killed. Um, <laughs> but there are only a few answers that Palutena really has. So just crouching in place, if you are then anticipating, all right, you're going to go for this option, just run in dash attack. Mm -hmm. It'll stuff it out before he even gets a chance to really get anything started. I really like the way that John Numbers is just placing the soccer ball at the ledge. And, you know, that... That last ledge interaction, he didn't really do anything with it. He decided to go out and you know do the edge guard, and it's 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 just a really nice mix up of having the soccer ball there, just like you know I'm gonna hit it, but he doesn't. It's a dash attack, not gonna do it quite yet. Nice tomahawk. Yeah, it's deep breathing not on deck though, so. Oh, he doesn't need deep breathing for that one though. No, Ooh, boy. sir. That's the, that's a very dead Palutena. Uh, this is this is looking like a really good match for John Numbers. He is just playing out of his mind right now. This is a this is a oh, it's getting to be the point where it might be an insurmountable lead for Jen. You know the timer is not that deep, but if John wants to, he always could just play to the timer if he has enough of a lead. Right now, though, he. He is looking quite content to just continue hitting Jen. Oh, yeah. He wants this match to last another 10 seconds. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was... I didn't know it was going to actually be four seconds. Excuse me. <laughs> what was that read? What? <laughs> he just got him. Oh, my God. I am God. in shock. Did he upbeat? Is that what it was? He warped, to Jen warped, he warped towards the... Uh... He just... <laughs> he didn't even have time to respawn. Literally, there was, he, was, he was in the void and then he's dead. Got telefrag. <laughs> How did he get that? That's crazy. My goodness. Whew. Well, Three, game two, two Yoshi's Story. One, go! <laughs> Music. <laughs> That's a music whiplash, honestly. I know. <laughs> All right. I mean, Yoshi's story gonna be giving uh, John numbers a lot less room to run around. Yes, but at the same time, first of all, the ledge is really good for Wii Fit. The fact oh, that she yeah. gets access to her wall jump, the fact that she can do all sorts of cheeky things with it. And then also, Wii Fit crouching by those lips is even harder for Palatina to hit. 
Ooh, Jen looking to end that stock early, but didn't quite catch that down air. Yeah, and that was actually really cute. Uh, he went for the beefy up B in order to get a two frame while uh, Jen was covering. Yeah, Numbers just gets to take his time down there, almost looking like a, a character with wall cling. Yeah, it's like this stage is good for Palutena. If she manages to, you know, get one of those hits in that lets her use those triplat layouts. But it feels like at every other element of the stage, it's actually kind of just good for John. Jen does have the lead right now, but rapidly does disappearing. He? <laughs> Ooh, deep chase off stage, but John able to use the walls of Yoshi's story, making you know, using the header to make those deep edge guards even more difficult for Jen. And I think deep breathing is still an effect or a fourth throw actually kill. Just barely, barely it doesn't. Nice challenge by Jen. This shouldn't be it. The crowd is on Palutena's side right now. Well, the crowd knows we best. Now Jen playing it ledge a little bit. That's, but yeah. that's super untackable. Yeah. I thought we were just gonna see another down tilt from John, but no, he's not up there for the for the overkill. Oh, there we go. All right, this is the advantage to having that tri plat layout. Those low percent combos that Palutena has are just like it, they get extended so far. Nice spacing by Jen. Forces the air dodge and gets the down air. Jen up a full stock right now. And that's it's if you're John, it's such a hard position because. He, he was forced to air dodge because of the explosive flame. Mm -hmm. It's like, was the right call just taking the hit from explosive flame? It might have been, because I think John Numbers was at a percent where it wouldn't have killed, and it like it would have just sent him up, given him more time and space to you know, do things. Ooh, right, burns the air dodge. Jen's staying patient, though. Nice. Oh, I don't think he has his jump yet. Jen just went a little bit too too low. The spacing right there. The actual... That worked? It, 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 I, John didn't even have deep breathing, I don't think. <laughs> Sweet spot back, Gary. <laughs> the move didn't need... She didn't need deep breathing for that move. Jen's explosive flame placements have been so good. They've been so good. And we're now getting to the point where John can't take any of those. Mm -hmm. If he gets hit by one off stage at this point, like that one right there, yeah, he would have died. Absolutely. Path. Like that one. Speak of the devil. And that game, like, originally, you know, I don't know, we were questioning a little bit the counter pick, but definitely worked out. I Absolutely. think by the end there. Because it, it, ironically enough, John spent more time at the ledge because he was, like, stalling more. He was trying right. to use the ledges. And that's kind of just, I don't know. Just using the platforms also, the way that he uses the platforms to make sure that the uh, that not only does he throw out the explosive flame, but he's a little bit higher in a position where he then can still cover more options and react. Right. It's a lot, I think it's a lot harder to, um, or just more difficult to throw out those explosive flames quite so reliably on a stage without platforms. Three, two, one, All right, go. we're gonna be looking at small battlefield for John's counter pick. Ooh, all right, Jen already uh, chasing John off stage. Not looking to let John get any of his game plan started. Yeah, and this is this is how Jen wins this matchup is by just making John unable to play the game. Yeah, just almost push. taking it. Oh, that might do it. Frame. There we go. Nice spacing around the header. Wow, just. Game one looked so good for numbers. It looked dominant for him. But now he's just, it, Jen has just figured out what he needed to do differently. And it's been basically just really taking care of John at the ledge, making him hate himself for being there. I think Jen wasn't ready for that uh, sun salutation, but John had the good placement to just hit it right. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, he waited extra long after that air dodge because he wanted to be as close to the blast zone as possible before pulling the trigger on backer, and that almost killed at like 60. Yeah. 
right, John now has Jen off stage. Oh, tried to and get the dash grab, but didn't quite make it. Yeah, that's like. John is just hungry for those hits. All right, a little there bit of an overextension go. from Jen. It's going to lead to a stock loss. John's still definitely playing from behind right now at 105%. He, there are definitely things that can kill him. But nonetheless, he might have a path to victory. He just needs to play very careful and find one of those early combo starters like a falling neutral there to maybe make up the difference a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, deep breathing is now offline, so it's just going to be that much harder for John. Catching the roll in right here, and that explosive flame. That's another one to take the stock. John is always, he wants to be getting his resources charged up when he's off stage, whether it's the deep breathing with the sun salutation. But there's always this risk that Jen is going to catch him unawares and, oh, <laughs> my lord. Yeah, and it's it's funny that we've we've kind of seen both sides of the the John versus Jen dichotomy uh, at, at the, uh, the beginning of the set oh. of... Just John getting to brutalize Jen, and then Jen just not letting John play the game that he wants to. Right now, all of the momentum is in Jen's favor. This could be it right here, but no, John Numbers fights his way off of the ledge. Yeah, it's and the thing is, like, we're not seeing. You remember in game one, John was going for all these like really cute crouching plays in neutral. He's not doing that anymore. And I think it's because Jen just putting him in positions where he can't even. Yeah, Jen, is, Jen has been kind of keeping John ironically trapped at the ledge, which is, you know, not something you hear very often that's like, about a Wii Fit. That's like some ironic Twilight Zone punishment. <laughs> Just like John Number. <laughs> I had all the time in the world. <laughs> John used to love the ledge. <laughs> For your consideration. Some karmic punishment. Oh. There we go. Yep. That down there's some karmic punishment. That's going to be it. 2-1 victory for Jen. And I know that actually that, that matters a lot to him because uh, staying in the winner's bracket means you get your shot at the buzz, which every top player in New York is gunning for. It. Right. You know, they really want to, even if it's just to get matchup experience, because as John was saying earlier on the stream, the buzz plays these really esoteric characters that nobody else in New York plays. So the only way to learn the matchup of those characters is playing against the buzz. Mm -hmm. uh, so... You're kind of just fighting, you know, a lot of these players who don't normally maybe get the chance to practice with him are fighting for their chance to face him, face off against him. And it looks like right now that's most likely going to be Jen if he's able to keep it on up in the winner's side. Right. But until then, we are going to be.